Hey guys, welcome to my first tutorial for Procreate and this is going to be sort of an introduction to the app. It's uh, probably my favorite um, drawing application for any mobile device and uh, it only costs $6 in the iOS store. Um, the reason I'm doing it for the tablet and not the phone is it's going to be a little bit easier for somebody who's just trying to start out painting. Um, you know, a phone is too small and kind of requires a little bit more patience. But anyways, let's get right into it. So at the top left hand side, you see my Procreate icon. If I press on, on to the icon, it'll uh, go, go ahead and go into the gallery section of the um, application. Here, all your paintings will be sorted, you know, in this like neat organization. You can hold, click and hold a painting and you can drag it and change its uh, orientation, you know, wherever you would like it, either up front or somewhere in the back. Um, that's that's how it's done. You can also name paintings um, by, I think, clicking and holding. Um, no, not clicking and holding. Swiping them to the right. So you click on the painting, you hold your finger, swipe to the right, and then you can uh, you know do some various changes there. And if you swipe it to the left, it'll select it, and then you have options um, to export it. So basically, if the image, you know, if you're not exporting it from within the the painting itself you can do it from the gallery so the plus plus on the top right hand side is uh, to create a new painting and here you will have various different options presets which are already done for you based on what kind of model you have um, you'll have more power to to work with so you could see that if I go with a fairly small size it'll give me 28 layers if I just use the uh, retina display uh, configuration which is a 2048 by 100 uh, 1536 and it'll give me 20 layers and then if I choose something like the square uh, it'll give me 20 layers which is uh, more than enough so I'll click that and then it go goes ahead and drops me into the square you use your fingers to zoom pitch you can tilt rotate everything it's really fast uh, I love that about this app and um, and here we have just a few things like, uh, you know, you'll, the interface is very minimalistic, but a few of the things that you are really important are already right in front of us. We have uh, the sliders on the left. The top slider controls the size of the brush, and the one right below that controls the opacity. And later on, I'll get into customizing these a little bit for, um, you know, personal preference but uh, for the sake of this video this is just the introduction uh, at the top right the top right tools um, in order we have the paintbrush so when you click on that it'll select your brush you can undo the stroke by uh, clicking the arrows at the bottom left the two arrows the one that points to the left is the undo and the one that points to the right is the redo next we have let me just get another stroke in here. Next we have the smudge tool, which does just that. I can increase the um, size of the brush and then just go ahead and smear it. I don't use this tool often, but I know people like it, so there you go. Um, after that, still going uh, from left to right, we have the, erase, the eraser, and that works just like a brush, but you know it erases you can still use brush different brush settings on it you can you can play around with the opacity and that's the eraser then we have the layer option where it's very simple but I'll I'll kind of talk about layers in a, in a separate video for those that are really interested just because you don't have to use layers you know if you don't want to especially if you're just starting out and you don't want you don't want too much things you know kind of um, being thrown at you all at once and then at the very right we have the color selection tool and it gives you this great circle ring thing with all the different hues around it and then after you picked whatever hue you like you can you can go ahead and uh, choose you know how bright or how dark it is and how much saturation there is so really handy uh, you can also drop colors at, at the bottom uh, I guess you know palettes but I don't have I don't have set palettes. I don't use it. I kind of just pick whatever color I want. 
when I want it. Um, let's see what this does. Oh, this is the color value. Okay, cool. So you can get exact colors based off of like you know some online thing that you've seen. Like if you if you look at painting colors online, you know specific specific ones that you want. Uh, that's one way to that's one way to kind of replicate those. Say you're like doing a I don't know a website design or something, and you want to draw a picture that is using the same color. So here I'm just kind of showcasing the tools a little bit more, turn the opacity all the way up, erase everything, and there you go. Um, and finally, let's say you drew something really beautiful, right? Let's, let's do a smiley face here. All right, so we have the eyes, and then the smiley, right? Cool. Let's say we're so happy with that and we just we, we have to share it with the world. The only tool that I'm going to show you for now on the, out of the top left ones, it's right near the gallery. It's the little tool wrench. That you can go to click the little wrench and then go to share and you can share your artwork. Now you can choose to export it in various different formats, but we are going to do the JPEG. It exported click save image now it's in your gallery from there you can send it to your friends share it on Facebook but if you've seen there's all those other options in there just to like hardcore customize exactly what you want so that basically concludes um, the first tutorial video for procreate I am in the second video I'm gonna cover all the different layer options and how to work with layers and kind of give you guys advice on that uh, now we can click gallery and it'll take us back to the gallery and look at that we've got our little smiley face at the very top left so these are all paintings the very top are all paintings that I have not yet finished so anyways thanks for watching guys see you in video two